Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today, something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how I make my confit sous vide drumsticks. Mouthful, but this tastes really good. Okay, let's get on with it. First thing I've got is some drumsticks. I've just purchased those from my local supermarket. I'm gonna start seasoning those up with a little bit of sea salt flakes, just like that. Just sprinkle that over. Some freshly ground black pepper. Just get that all over it like that nothing too serious and here I've got some lemon myrtle that is a beautiful Australian bush spice just give that a little bit of a dusting with that and uh, lemon myrtle is a little bit harder to find but uh, when you do find it definitely worth it and here I've just got a little bit of dill that can go straight over you could even use a little bit of fenugreek that would add a nice flavor as well I'm going to add in just a little bit of parsley like that very very simple straight over the top and if you haven't cooked uh, in the version or the way of sous vide before it's really interesting it takes a little bit of time but uh, the texture that comes out at the end is worth it now I'm going to split these evenly into two Ziploc bags so just put those straight in the bags like that how easy is that now the bag is going to protect the uh, meat from water and everything's just going to cook in its own juices. Now I've got some duck fat, again I've just purchased that from my supermarket. I give it a good couple of tablespoons worth, we don't need a lot in there. A little bit goes a long way, especially when you're cooking in this method. Right, so what we're going to do is put that straight into a pan of water and get all the air out. So you just push that straight down to the bottom. We're gonna zip block that bag up almost all the way, like I'm doing right there, but we're going to leave one corner open for the moment. We can now make sure that's all done like that. Now, if you push the bag in, it's gonna squeeze all the air out. The water is actually gonna compress in on the bag and squeeze all the air out. So just make sure you don't get that little corner into the water, zip it up, that make sure it's nice and sealed and as you can see that has already already vacuumed itself shut you could use a vacuum seal machine if you want I've thought about doing that Ziploc bags are cheap it's easy to go get your immersion heater straight into a nice big pot of water and if you don't have one of these it's going to make things a little bit difficult for you to try and cook this way because we're trying to cook at such a low temperature I've got that sitting at about 60 degrees ish maybe 63 Make sure we haven't got too much water in. Just put your bags of meat straight into the water like that. As you can see, there's only a, like a, a very light steam coming off that water. And we don't want to get that uh, top of that bag in the water also, just in case that does fail. Just got a little clip on the side there just to hold it and stop it from moving. Like that. Little tips and things that you find when you experiment. So put both bags in. Make sure they're both uh, clipped up. I'm just going to leave those in all honesty. I'll let these for about three hours, just simmering away at that sort of 60 degree mark, 63 degree mark. And when they're finished, all we have to do now, take them out of the bag, bring them back to room temperature, a little bit of butter in a pan, like that. And all we have to do is quickly finish these drumsticks off. You could do this on the barbecue as well. I just prefer to use the pan today weather wasn't really good for barbecuing or grilling at all so all we have to simply do is get our drumsticks and the remaining little bit of duck fat put that straight in get a bit of color on those drumsticks just to finish them off if you're not sure about how well the chicken's done use a thermometer check the internal temperature right now you can see they're starting to brown up a little bit the duck fat's still sitting there everything's just beautifully getting a nice bit of color on that meat as I said get a meat thermometer double check temperature inside you want a uh, internal temperature of about 74 degrees Celsius or centigrade and you're right to go before you know it you're gonna have these drumsticks all ready to eat and serve it up with your favorite sides I'm just gonna serve mine up with a little bit of uh, vegetable a bit of potato look at the color we've got on those drumsticks and the meat is already starting to fall off the bone just carefully serve those up like that and you'll be able to sit down and enjoy this really succulent really tasty and tender drumsticks 
All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. You want to learn different uh, cooking techniques, different recipes, all sorts of things that I put on this channel. You need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. All right. Off to work these drumsticks, and I will catch you next time. Bye!